Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate a thumbs up. The Iron Assembly, LFR, opened this week, giving players a chance to face off against Beast Lord Darmac, Operator Thogar, and the Iron Maidens on the raid's lowest difficulty for a chance at proprietary tier set pieces and 655 epics. If you thought I said 655 epics in error, I didn't. Hold that thought, we'll be talking about it soon. The news wing of LFR will also help players progress through the legendary quest line to earn themselves that 710 eye level ring. For more information on the Iron Assembly LFR, the loot, the encounters, etc., check out the links in the info below. And on to the segment that literally nobody has been waiting for, the best hotfixes of the week. Good news, everyone! Defeating Professor Putricide too quickly should no longer cause players to become trapped in his room. I was gonna make a joke about R. Kelly and being trapped in a closet, but I'm not sure how much of my audience would understand that reference. Moving on. Players should now correctly receive credit towards the Call to Arms achievement after completing a max level battleground match. And in case you needed a refresher on what the Call to Arms achievement is... Well then, that's nice. And last but certainly not least, players now deal 10% less damage against other players while in PvP combat. Let's head over to Ollie Williams to get the current status of the PvP forums. Ollie? It's raining sideways! So business as usual then. Aforementioned hotfixes, I'ma let you finish, but this week Blizzard announced the best hotfix of all time. This week Blizzard is deploying a hotfix which will increase the item level on all Blackrock Foundry items by 5, and that includes LFR all the way up to Mythic. Blizzard stated that they felt that the Blackrock Foundry rewards were simply not rewarding enough. Along with the Blackrock Foundry gear buff, all of the highest level crafted gear and the Apexis vendor items will also be increased by 5. And it's not just the eye level that's being increased, the stats will be adjusted appropriately as well. Well, these changes will apply both retroactively, meaning gear that you already have, as well as to future loot drop type things. You get it. And the biggest news of this week is that BlizzCon 2015 was officially announced. The event will take place at the Anaheim Convention Center in California on November 6th and 7th. Tickets will go on sale in batches April 15th and April 18th and will cost a whopping $199 and are expected to sell out very, very quickly. As always, there will be a VIP option to benefit the Orange County Children's Hospital. Now, the benefit includes a dinner where you get to hang out with like, developers and other Blizzard employees, and it's usually very expensive, although as of the time of this filming, they have not announced the prices or when those tickets will be going on sale. I'm super excited about this because I am going to BlizzCon this year. As many of you know or don't know, I don't know how up to date you are on my personal life, but I actually got married like two days after BlizzCon, so I couldn't go to BlizzCon in 2014, but I'm going this year. I'm going in 2015. I'm super excited. And uh, that kind of leads like into today's question, which is, will you be going to BlizzCon? Will you be watching via the virtual ticket? Will you be following fan sites? Will you be actively avoiding BlizzCon and BlizzCon related news? Let me know in the comment section below and what you think about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. And thanks so much for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer, my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please thumb it up, answer our question in the comment section below, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Be sure to check back this Tuesday and every tu well, next Tuesday. Be sure to check back next Tuesday and every Tuesday for future episodes of Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday to see if your comment is in our featured section. If you would like more information about anything I talked about today, my sources are linked in the information below, along with the Wowhead Weekly Podcast, which is a very in-depth version of what I'm doing here. And when I say a version of what I'm doing here, I mean like it's it's way better and they're a lot more knowledgeable than me. Admittedly, I'm kind of an idiot. <laughs> and here we go with the bad outros. I'm gonna go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my heart to see you soon. Goodbye. 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 Ah. 
And on to the segment that literally nobody was looking forward to, the best hot fixes of the week! Good news, everyone! And this applies both retroactively on an all future loot type drops. And these changes are both for retroactively gear that you already have as well as... <sighs> as always, there will be a VIP option which includes like a dinner with Blizzard employees and it benefits the um, Orange County... <sighs> I assure you, these heroes are so not Vi and Graves from League of Legends, if that's what you were thinking. I mean, come on, yeah, Vi does have pink hair and an attitude problem, but the only reason her arms are big is because of those giant steel gloves she wears. And yeah, Graves might be an outlaw with a flashbang ability, but McCree is totally wearing a hat. 